Hello everyone, welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Look at Mike Meekins, my God bless him. All right, so we've talked to him. Now I know that we were trying to figure out something about the Blue Badger last time, and I'm not really sure what. Uh, let me look at the logic that we've got, because I think that we've got some things that we can put together now. Hmm, we've got costumes, what kind of shoes, and a second Blue Badger. Do I want to do this now, or do I want to look at everything? I think... Let's see... There's only supposed to be one blue badger in the park, but a second was spotted, and then it seems the costumes of the badger family are kept in the isolation room. I would think that these two are probably linked. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm gonna link them anyway to see if we can get to the bottom of this. That's what I do usually, I guess. Until the game gives me the answer. A second blue badger that shouldn't exist. Clearly, the true identity of the person underneath is... Oh, I know! It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person wore a costume to get away! That's probably very likely. Alright. Oh, so we've got that logic. There we go. Precisely. After all, the costumes that went missing from the storage area are... A blue badger, a proto-badger, and a bad badger. Yes, those three. So, there are three phony badgers running around in the park somewhere, huh? Oh, all right, stolen costumes. We've got that as evidence. All right. Uh, wait a minute now. What kind of shoes? If only we knew, we'd be able to track the kidnappers from the footprints. Can can you connect these two? You might be able to. If we knew, because if they're in the costume, then we would know which ones they are. Um, mm, I'm gonna do it. It seems logical to me. Ha! Ah. Now that we know that the kidnappers were wearing badger costumes, those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh! You mean now that we know which tracks belong to the kidnappers, right? Yes. More than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of badgers. Do they actually have paw prints? I thought it was just flat feet. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunting! Let's do it! How sh- oh, okay, so let's- let's do this, first of all. Mike. Mike boy. Can I... Can I do something real quick? I think I did this in the last one, not sure. Look at this badge! Sir! It's so incredibly shiny, but it has a really ugly shape! I knew it! I was Oh yeah, okay, we did do this. <laughs> he says the police badge is better. I don't- I don't think he's- I don't think he's right. But what- what am I gonna say about anything? Alright. So. Now that we have Kay as our partner, I love her portrait. I just want to talk to her to see what she has uh, to say about everything. Kidnapping. Okay, what do you think about the kidnapping? Well, I don't know anything about the victim. So, actually, I was hoping you could tell me. Ah, that's right. I never did explain the situation to you. I got involved because of a phone call I received. It was from none other than the director of the Amino Group, Mr. Ernest Amino. His only son, Lance, had been kidnapped and he wanted me to be the drop-off man. Little did I suspect that I would be abducted myself. And that's when I found you tied to a pole screaming, no! Can you please drop that already? No, I want to hear more about it. No? Fine. All right, that's all she's got to say. Okay, so have before I go examining everything else, did we examine everything, like these horses and stuff? Yeah, I think we did. Because I, if I see horses, I go examine them. That's what happens. Yeah, we got that in the last one. Over here is just some more policemen, so I think probably what we have to do now is either talk to Ernest again or look at these footprints one more time to see if we can figure out what to do with these. So we're looking for footprints made by a costume. Hey, I think I found them. There are two sets here. They both do look like possible candidates. The big ones, right? This set is walking off to the west. Oh, it just stops. I can't make heads or tails of where it's headed from here. I think we can assume it's headed towards the stadium. Hmm, I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. Don't walk all over them, they'll mess them up. But she seems to know what she's doing. Huh? Oh, it, oh. Quick, Mr. Edgeworth, I've got him! I've got one of the culprits! Ah, no! I'm not a kidnapper, sir! It's just Mike! Down, Kay. Clearly those footprints belong to Officer Meekins. But our criminals were each wearing a costume. 
Aha! Maybe they came over to this garage for something. That's what I would suppose. Officer Meekins, if you could step aside for a moment. We need to examine the garage. Sir! Roger Wilco, sir! There he goes. Alright. So examine these guys again. I mean, I see that this is tied with like a rope or something. Let's open the shutter and see what we find. Maybe we'll find the kidnappers hiding inside. What will be in here? Ah! Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, oh. I didn't see him at first. I just saw the car. And I'm like, yeah, that is kind of terrifying. There's a dead man in here. What in the... That's the butler, isn't it? The butler that hasn't been seen. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, we seem to have stumbled across a dead body. Oh dear. She must be in severe shock to have been the first to find it. Poor Kay. She's young. Now then, who is this man? It's Oliver! Mr. Armino, are you saying that this man is... Yes, he's my butler. How could something like this have happened? Indeed. And why was Mr. Deacon here to begin with? I better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Langer's men return. Uh oh. Kidnapper's footprints lead right to this garage. And right to a dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? Victim was kidnapper. Following a kidnapper's prints led us to a body. Was the victim in a costume? Okay. Alright, let's see. From my cursor examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound. Oh boy, okay, preliminary findings. Okay. You sure are calm for someone who just found a body. It's surprising what one can become accustomed to in the span of two days. I mean, Edward, don't ask like you haven't seen a body before that. Because you pick. I won't rest until I've expected it. Yes, yes, he won't rest. We won't rest. All right, well, let's just start with the obvious, shall we? Uh, we'll probably just start with here, because this looks like this is where he was shot. As long as that Interpol agent has control of this case, I'm not going to be able to have a real autopsy done on the victim. I'm no doctor, but let's see what I can piece together myself. Hmm. There are two gunshot wounds, one in his abdomen and one in his shoulder. So, that means he was shot twice? No, I don't think so. I think the abdominal one is an entry wound and the one near his shoulder is the exit- What? If that's the case, he'd have to be laying down. To get that kind of path. Nice! I knew you could figure it out. It comes with experience, and I've seen my share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience, this crime scene seems a bit too clean for a murder where the bullet went clean through. It does. Maybe he was dragged here after the fact. But still, wouldn't he be bleeding a little bit, even? Unless they waited a very long time. But then we'd have other signs of problems. Hmm. Alright. Uh, what's this that he's wearing here? <gasps> Oh, look at that! I'd wear that! It's lovely! This is unusually shaped pendant. What is it? Is it something valuable? She seems to have regained some of her composure. It looks like a horse pendant. It's got an antique feel about it. It's really pretty. Hold on. This is made of platinum silver. Nice, it is worth something after all. Platinum and silver are not the same thing. They are different metals, madam. It's either platinum or silver. Maybe platinum coated silver, but you would never do that. Ooh, and look! There's something written on the back. Colin Devore. It's a name. Colin Devore? Well, this man's name is... Oh. Huh. Maybe... Oh, deduce is here now. Maybe let's deduce that and see if we can figure that out. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Um, yes, I think so, because... Victim Deacon shot from ABD through shoulder. Yeah, because this says that his name is Deacon. Is that what we're trying to deduce? Do it. Yeah! There's something not right about the name on the pendant. The victim is the Amino family butler and his name is Oliver Deacon. But the name on the pendant is Colin Devore. I wonder what's up with that. I don't know, but... I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. Yeah, what about that name change? Okay, we've got the horse pendant. Alright. 
Oh, wait, oh, that's it? Okay, well, I hope I looked at everything clearly. I didn't get to look at the cars or the parking spots or anything. Lance, Lance, where are you, sweetie? Who the hell is that? Oh, hello. Hi, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, but you are? H hello. Oh. <laughs> Girl, I like your ring pop. Oh, shit. I haven't had one of those since the 90s. How is it? It looks delicious. Are you all right? Is, is this his maid, maybe, perhaps? I mean, they have a butler. Surely they have a maid, right? And she's in a maid outfit. Oh, oh this is bad. He's really good looking. Yeah, I know. I said the same thing. <gasps> Stop it, Lauren. Oh, I pff, love her already. Girl, what's going on with your elbow? Is that a tattoo? You can't let yourself fall for a playboy like him. You're in love with... Sounds like someone doesn't know the meaning of the phrase inner monologue, huh? Oh my god, she was saying that out loud? Oh. Well, uh, sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yes, I'm Lance's girlfriend. Oh. Well, I guess she's not the maid then. My name is Lauren Pops. Like, Ring Pops. Gr girl. Oh, she's... Okay. She's got bruises and bandages all over her. She's giving me a Mekon vibe. I'm not sure how I feel about this. His girlfriend. Oh, it's not like that. We're, we're like friends and we're not lovers or anything. We, well, we haven't gotten that far yet. But look at Edgeworth. I guess that's how people are going to see it, so I should just accept it. I even got this ring as a present from Lance. <laughs> Girl, it's a ring pop. <laughs> you know what she reminds me of? A cartoon character. Yeah, you're right. But so do all of you. Ugh. Edgeworth doesn't even know what to do. Oh shit. May I inquire as to why you are here? I haven't been able to get in contact with Lance lately. And I begin to get really worried. <laughs> I looked everywhere for him and then I heard about the kidnapping so I came here. Wow, you're really strong for having made it through all this by yourself. Um, is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Oh, Lance. I can't believe you've been spirited away. I wonder how you're doing right now. It looks like she's gone back to the fair maiden and love routine. Good Christ, all right. So, Mr. Edgeworth, where do we go from here? Well, we found a body, so we should look into the murder. Who's holding it? Where are we holding? Oh, Wolverine's back, y'all. There he is, hello. God, how do those even fit on your face? Structurally, I don't even think those work. My men brought me up to speed over the radio. And I have to say, you really should have called. I heard you found something very intriguing. Yeah, this lady. Wait, what? I have nothing to hide, Agent Lang. It's exactly what you see before you. And we found a body, is it yours? I'll take it from here. <laughs> that guy's really dead. He sure is. Hey, you waiting for an invitation? Hurry up and detain the suspect now. Suspect? Who? Oh no! Officer Meekins, is it? You're coming with us. What? Sir! I had nothing to do with it, sir! Agent Lang, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good reason to suspect Officer Meekins? Ta! I leave that kind of stuff to you prosecutors at your job, after all. Like I said earlier, the crime scene isn't as forgiving as your precious courtroom. That's your answer? I know you like your logic and reasoning, but that sort of impractical fluff is not needed out here in the field. Sure about that? All you gotta do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. That's how you eliminate crime from the streets. But that's also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people by mistake. Innocent people? <laughs> Nonsense. There's no such thing as an innocent person. We've all got a blemish or two in our hearts. What about you? How many do you got? That's tyranny. I won't allow such a thing to go and check before my eyes. <laughs> Too bad you don't call the shots around here. Oh, shit. Miles, do something. As I have sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. That you would arrest a man on false charges without even conducting an investigation. Have you no honor as a member of law enforcement? Yeah, yeah, point at his hair, poke it. You! How dare you speak so direct disrespectfully to Ashifu! Man, everyone's on this guy's dick. I don't understand. Hold it. What? What now? <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor. 
Langzi says every pack has its own rules. If you can play by the rules and come out on top, that's a true victory. All right, I'll give your beloved flaws a fair shake. I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. What? Sounds like a euphemism to me, sir. But I'm gonna go with that. Whoa! Look, don't take up my whole screen with your pointing. Come on now. Through my line of logic. What you got? All right, here we go. I can only imagine what's gonna happen here. She Long Lang's logic. That's a lot of L's. I've seen a lot of bodies like the one being carted off in my time. I can say it was shot in a single glance, but even you figured that much out, right? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Not unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? What do you... That's all you have? Is it possibly a police officer easily has a gun? Come on now. That is bunk. Even we know that. That's your reasoning? Solid as a rock. It's based on the philosophy of detainment. Um, what's this philosophy of detainment? Ta, you don't know? In case, pay attention, girly. In my country, the criminals have a saying, beware of the wolf. Why the wolf? Because in my language, Lang means wolf, and you don't mess with me or my pack. As for the detainment philosophy, its father is my honorable ancestor, Lang Zi. Hmm. You'd think I'd have heard of him, and his teachings, if he's that famous. Is he? Is he that famous? What are you doing? Whoa! Gee, uh, okay. <laughs> what is happening? Man, she just slid out of nowhere. Did you see that? Why she look like she from freaking Near Automata, though? Langzi developed it as he worked to lock criminals away thousands of years ago. To this day, the Zhangfa police still trains its recruits using its philosophies. But thousands of years ago, that makes your story about as believable as a fairy tale. Tuh. Anything wears down and breaks over time? Do you really believe something as ancient as that can be applied to today's world? Well, that would explain why it's so futile. You want to put it to a test? Was that... You coming on to me? Oh shit, it's bottle time. Here we go. I'm pressing it all. All three things. Seen a lot of bodies like the one being carted off in my time. Okay. So what can you tell me about the body? A lot. Even without an autopsy, I have my ways. They teach you the basics of forensics along with the detention philosophy. Oh? Then you wouldn't mind telling me a little of what you figured out, correct? Tell me. Can say he was shot in a single glance, but even you figured that much out, right? I mean, we did. We did figure that out. Yes, I think anyone who saw the bullet wounds would come to the same conclusion. Whoa. He's got a cool voice. I gotta give it to him. Don't pat yourself on the back yet. What's that supposed to mean? What are you doing? Oh, here she come. Whoop. Okay, hi. Bye. T Bye, 2B. Langzi says, search where the water is deepest. You have to keep your eyes on the big fish that lurks in the depths, which is the killer. Is that right? And what would you know about the killer? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Alright. Tell me more about that. It would appear you studied a little of our laws. Studied? Who needs to study what every child on any street corner already knows? It's that. That. Shina! The Federal Firearms Restriction Act. That's it. The Federal Firearms Restriction Act. I hear it's not easy to get a gun these days. Interesting. That woman is one in charge of keeping track of the information. Not unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? What do you mean? If that's the case, there are plenty of other officers who might be potential suspects. Yeah, there was like 50 of them here earlier. What about one of them? You're not seriously going to arrest each and every one of them, are you? As if I would need to. I've already looked into everyone else here. I don't think so. What have you been- is that what you've been doing all this time? That would have taken you forever. Other than Officer Meekins, I know no one else's weapon has been fired. What? How did you check every single person's weapon in such a short span of time? That's because each and every one of my subordinates is extremely capable. It didn't take more than a few minutes to conduct the entire investigation. The power of sheer numbers. But you have yet to check Officer Meekins' weapon, correct? Thanks for reminding me. Hey, you, show me your gun. Oh, excuse me, we're in public? Oh, Meekins, it's okay, you don't have to. Oh! 
What's wrong? Why does he look so sickly pale all of a sudden? Did he fire at something by accident? Oh, Mike. What have you done? Gun? What did you say? I can't hear you. Stop mumbling and spit it out already. Sir, sir. I lost my gun, sir. Oh, of course you did. How could you be so irresponsible? <laughs> In the end, it looks like you're still the only suspect we've got. You're the one who waited here outside this garage to ambush and kill the victim. He didn't kill him here. Come on. So you think the Officer Meekins waited here to kill the victim, do you, Lang? I think this little accusation deserves a lot more scrutiny. Definitely. Is he gonna say something about it? Officer Meekins ambushed the victim in the garage and killed him here with the gun. Absolutely not. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, I don't even think we have to press that. We might be able to present this right now. Because in the preliminary findings, it says right here. Doesn't it? Pending autopsy, preliminary findings indicate loss of blood, lower right abdomen, right shoulder. Despite the fact the fatal bullet leaned through the body, there's little blood at the site where the body was found. All right, so this is, I can probably press this right now. All right, let's do it. Objection. Yeah, bitch, don't even try it. Stop lying. Unfortunately for you, Agent Lang, that is simply not possible. What do you mean? You've seen the crime scene for yourself. And while you were looking, did you not think to yourself that it was a little too clean? Ah, yeah. What? What? Whoa! Okay, Bruce, calm down. So you did notice that there was too little blood. Do you still wish to claim that Officer Meekins committed the murder here? Because this isn't the crime scene, and if it was, your men who led you to think it was. Then I suggest you leave the case to the local police to set the record straight. Oh, get wrecked! Ugh. Oh, there goes his bra. It's all over. It's gone. Not bad. I see your logic can be just as sound as mine. In that case, let me ask you this. Don't you think it's weird that Officer was hanging out around here in the first place? Weird? How so? Hey, you, your squad's not even supposed to be in this area, right? What were you doing, neglecting your duties and loafing around here? I, I, I... Don't you dare give me some lame excuse like, I found myself taking a walk. But sir, I really did take a walk, sir. <sighs> You're a disgrace. How dare you pack, take your pack obligations so lightly. Officer Meekins is looking extra meek. Is he hiding something? He must have seen something. Mr. Edgeworth, please, please, sir. Save me the way you did earlier, please, sir! Officer Meekins, please give us a detailed account of what happened. Sir! Not you too! Oh, oh my god, look at his face! <laughs> his face! Oh, bless. It's true, sir. I wasn't assigned to this area, sir. I was told to check every square inch of the main gate area, sir. I also went looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams in the Blue Badger Mobile, sir. But I got completely caught up in my role selling dreams to the children, sir. Maybe you should do that job instead of the police work. I just don't think you're cut out for it, sir. Before I knew it, I found myself here in the area, sir. Hmm. Okay, what is this Blue Badger Mobile? I'm assuming it's that thing in the garage. It's a moving store on wheels that sells sweet dreams and merchandise, sir. So the Blue Badger Mobile is just a roaming souvenir shop? I guess. All right, we've got it as evidence. All right. Sir, I swear I was chasing the kidnappers down while I was being a good dream merchant. Somehow, I don't see those two things working out together. He seems rather worked up, even more than his usual hyperactive self. He sure seems sure of what he's saying. Can you try to calm down and lower your voice to a more reasonable level, officer? Sir, Roger, sir. All right, let's see. All right, buttle time. Give me your butt. What? It's true, I wasn't assigned to this area. Uh, all right. Just in case, press everything. All right then, where were you assigned to? I, I was assigned to the main gate, sir. He must mean the area with the bridge and the, the outrageous fountain. Okay, then why are you here in the Wild Wild West area? That's because, it's because of a very deep reason, ma'am. I was told to check every square inch of the main gate area, sir. Okay. Hold it. Tell me about that. Describe for me how you conducted your investigation. Yes, sir. Well, first I made sure there was no suspicious looking people in the area, sir. But the only people that seemed to gather around me 
<laughs> We're little girls, sir. Oh. Ew. Well, what did you expect when you're dressed like the blue badger? I thought I had no choice at that point, sir, so... I also went looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams in the blue badger mobile. Also went looking for kidnappers while selling dreams in the... Wait a minute now. First of all, I probably should have looked at the evidence we got. I didn't look at it. Mobile shop on three wheels was parked inside the Wild Wild West area garage. Well, then why is it here? Can we look at it? Oh, it's, it's just a picture of where it is. I got a couple of questions about this. If this is the one he used, which I don't know if it is, how did he park it in here without seeing the sky? Is it... Uh... Hmm... I also went looking for kidnappers while selling dreams in the blue badger mobile. Mobile shop on three wheels, but it's parked in here. Is that what we need to present or should I? Hmm. That would, I don't know if he's talking about this one. I'm doing it. It's probably wrong. Wait. Okay, here we go. Officer Samikins, I would appreciate it if you didn't tell such transparent lies. Sir? I'm lying, sir? Yes, you are. If you were really out there selling dreams with the blue badger mobile until recently, then what is it doing here inside the garage? Okay, then I was right. Yeah, and how did he park it without seeing a dead body? <laughs> that face. Never get old. Actually, uh, you just lost track, sir. Lost track of what? By the time I realized that the blue badger mobile was nowhere to be found, sir. Is that right? Which would mean it was perhaps stolen? And that's when I came back to this area thinking maybe it was in the garage, sir. But that's when you found me, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Uh oh. Oh shit, that not so fast was cool too. A likely story. Who do you think is gonna buy such a convenient tale as that? And what exactly is so convenient about his story? The car getting stolen is completely unbelievable, even for a cover. But I think we can assume the car was used, all right? To move the dead body. What? You killed the victim at some distant location, Officer Meekins. And then you used the blue badger mobile to transport it all the way here. That couldn't have happened. There would be blood in it. Now then, you're coming with me. But it wasn't me, sir. The killer, sir. It wasn't me, sir. Agent Lang, wait. Uh, what do you want now? We still don't know where the real scene of the crime is. You can't say we know all the facts of this case, let alone the truth. I told you. Truth smooth, I don't care less. Oh shit, he really doesn't give a shit. Our job is to catch the crook. You'll find out your precious truth after we arrest this guy and take him in. That's the job of you prosecutors in your fancy courts with your logic. As for us, we don't have that kind of time to waste. You boorish buffoon. Get fight, fight! Aw oh, man, no, let him duke it out. I need to see this. There's probably a dojin about this somewhere. I think you need to leave. What? We need to get the body to autopsy and you guys are getting in the way. You! You interfere with another one of my investigations? Hey now, let's not forget who holds the actual authority to conduct investigations here. Tch. I'm afraid the one doing the interrupting is you, my ignorant little pretty boy. Oh shit, there's gotta be a dojin for these two. I'm gonna look it up later. I'll tweet if I find it. Do. Now be a good fancy boy and get out of my sight if you don't. Uh oh, you're gonna get the finger! Wait, what? I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. Man, you really like arresting people. I gotta I gotta be honest. But it's gotta be said, it's like his whole thing. Maybe it's his kink, I don't know. I'm not trying to shame anyone. Oh shit, to be continued. I, I will say this for this game. Um, it's been a lot easier to record this one because the to be continued's really so far have lined up quite easily with around 30 minutes. That's been blessed for me. Alright. So in the next one, let's see what happens. Are we gonna get Mike off the hook? I hope so, because clearly he's too stupid to have done it, but we'll have to figure out how. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo.